What is going on everybody? It is Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Now today, it's gotta be a little bit different of a video. Today I'm gonna be talking about the four year transformation of the big purple truck. But first, we gotta run to advance auto parts and return some brake pads that I bought online. Uh, they were for my girlfriend's car. Thought her brake pads were low because it was making a squealing noise. Found out just like a little rock or something had gotten in the uh, in between the brake pad and the rotor. And as soon as I took that out, cleaned the pads, the whistling noise went right away. No more problems. So we're gonna be returning the brand new pads that I bought because her pads are still perfectly fine. Still had close to another 20 to 30K worth of life left on them. But I figured why not bring you guys along for the ride just for that instead of the normal videos where we're just sitting in the driveway the entire time at my house those videos get boring to even to me after a while so figured we'd switch it up i run run advance i had some oil for my lawnmower and i just want to bring you guys along with me okay and we are back at the house we see the truck behind me now i've got something in the bed of the truck that i actually want to show you guys I got it out of the dumpster at work today. Now, like that sounds absolutely terrible, but we have a Johnson 15 horse boat motor. Now it is currently locked up. Uh, my coworker is actually the one that threw it in the dumpster, said that it was given to him to get it fixed up and running and he never got it fixed up or running. So he just threw it away. Now, if that is something that you guys would like to see or not, please, please, please drop a comment down below because I'm gonna be building it anyways. And if you guys would like to see it, then I'd, I'd love to record it and show you guys. It would, it would make my life a little bit more fun because then I could show you guys on like how to get a motor unlocked up or anything like that. So if you guys would like to see that, make sure you drop a comment down below. And once we get it running, I may or may not slap it on the boat back there with the other 15 horse and do dual 15 horse motors. Now let's get into the actual point of this video and stop rambling on this right here. In four years, this truck has went from this to this behind me and it cost a lot of money. I'll just, I'll go ahead and say that now. Now you guys are gonna think that, oh, all the money is in those right there that I have the most money in the American forces and my 37s. And I'm gonna tell you right away, you're wrong. I want you guys to guess down below how much I have invested in these and the person that guesses the closest or if anyone actually guesses it, I will pin your comment to the top. I'll shout you out on Instagram or YouTube or both or whatever you want, but Drop a comment down below and let me know how much you think I have invested in my American Forces because I guarantee it's going to be a lot lower than you think. Now that I've got you guys doing a guessing game, I can't tell you how much I have invested in those, but I will walk you around the truck and let you know all what has changed, what I've done to it, what I kind of have in store. I don't want to give away anything because I do have some stuff on the way and I have other stuff planned for the future, but I will show you what I've done to it, what... I did in the past or anything like that and let's just do a complete walk around of the truck and its four year transformation so obviously you guys can tell the truck is lifted i do have a six inch rough country with two inch max track lift springs and a three inch zone body lift now this is the second lift i have had on this truck the first one i did a three inch spindle lift and three inch leveling kit and i ran it on 33s and 20 by 10s i'll throw up a clip of that that is what was on this truck when I started this YouTube channel and it's completely changed into the truck it is today. And you guys have been around for all of that. And if you haven't been here since the beginning, go down and hit that subscribe button. Help your boy out. But you guys see the lift. Um, everything suspension wise is new. I, I would say brand new, but of course like once you use it, it's no longer brand new. We have new spindle source upper control arms. Um, the only thing that's not new are the bushings and the actual lower control arm itself. The ball joint's new. Uh, we have newer shocks. Rack and pinion's new. Inner and outer tie rods are new. Uh, sway bar linkage is new. Uh, of course, the lift kit. We've got all new brake pads, rotors, calipers, brake pads. Um, let me continue going around. 
This is a new bumper. We painted the plastics on this channel. If you missed that video, I'll throw a card up up here for it. But we painted the plastics, HD grill swap, HD hood swap. Uh, this is the third or fourth set of headlights that I have built and they're already starting to yellow just a little bit. So I, I can see here in the future building another set of headlights and of course we don't copy anything we do. We always change it up. So we'll be, be doing something different. I mean, obviously, you guys can tell just the obvious. The truck is wrapped. I wrapped the truck myself right there in the driveway. So if you missed that video, click right here. Uh, we've got new fog light housings. Every bulb on this truck is LED. We'll continue going around. All U joints in the drive shaft are new. New carrier bearing. Um, Let's see, come back here. We have new EVAP canister and the gas tank. Um, the typical Chevy uh, fuel fuel leak type deal with the gas cap. A new gas cap, of course. Got the forces in the rear. We got the wrap face with some spiked lugs. And uh, we've got lighting trends, wheel lights. We've got 15 white rock lights on the truck. We are running true duels to uh, long tube headers with an X pipe with. I believe these are three or four inch tips. I honestly, I don't really know. Uh, the guy didn't say. So I'm just gonna say that they're four inch. I don't really know. But if you guys wanna see that video, click right up here. I'll link you guys to that. We've got spider uh, brake lights and third brake lights, all LED with some aux beam LED reverse lights, some Amazon special LED tag lights. And then underneath, I've got these little light bars right here that actually this one over here does not work anymore so does not help me at all this bumper is new i replaced it less than a year ago we shaved the tailgate we no longer have that plastic cap up here we filled all the holes yes i know the bezel's missing yes it'll be replaced very soon it's actually right there right 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 there it started coming off, my coworker noticed it. I took it off and just threw it in the bed. It's broken, I had it super glued. That's what this like weird line is, a super glue that ran down. So I'm just gonna replace actually like the handle and the bezel because the handle's like super faded and gross. And I have something different for that. We've got 5% over factory all the way around with half the windshield done. As you can tell, I mean, like right here would be like exactly half, but pretty close. Just some Amazon special manual tow mirrors, nothing fancy. Eventually would like to get some boost auto parts, but we'll get there when we get there. And then right there, we got our long tubes with the heat wrap on them. And I'm not a biggest fan of this heat wrap because the smell was supposed to go away within like a week or two. And like two months later, I can still smell it every now and then, which is frustrating, but oh well. Um, let's see, what else What else we got done on this thing? Underneath the hood, we've got a new water pump, um, all new pulleys, all new belts, all new spark plugs, all new spark plug wires, uh, new knock sensors, new intake manifold gaskets, of course, new exhaust gaskets with the headers. Uh, we've got a nice Amazon cold air intake with a cane and filter on it. Uh, we got a new battery. I think that's about all that we got underneath the hood. Let me pop the hood just to show you guys. Okay, so there's our Amazon cold air intake with our Canon filter. We got a new alternator. Uh, let's see. We got some electric fans on the radiator. Uh, these are 10 inch. I'm thinking about going to 12 inch or maybe even 14 if it'll fit. Or just do the electric fan conversion and do that. This is the only wire that I absolutely freaking hate. But I had no idea where the hell to put it. It goes to these these fans so sorry but it's there now i guess we only have one more section to go and that is in cab so when i got this truck the seat springs and the seat were absolutely blown out the seat like caved in right there i actually have a video of that up on this channel it's way back when i first started so probably won't be the best video but it's still a video of me replacing these seat springs i did do that uh some audio pipe tweeters in the doors, Crescendo speakers, 
Uh, we got some lights up underneath the dash. Got that nice clear white. That video as well is up on the channel. I, I painted this once upon a time. You watch an old video, it's actually splatter painted green and purple. Purple is something that I've always loved, if you, if you can't tell. And I started sanding it down. I was gonna just color match it to the truck and then I ended up finding this like weird galaxy blue paint at AutoZone. It was on clearance for like $1.50, so I bought it and that's what's been on this ever since. We've got, of course, our LED bulbs up in the truck. I used to have a sub and an amp back here at a 12, a ticker 12. We've got all our wiring tucked up in there. I did sell that a couple months ago just because I wasn't really using it anymore and I kind of kind of growing out of the base. Eventually I would like to get a whole under seat box custom built for the truck, but for now that's not gonna happen. And then I was messing around one day, painted this. It's pretty, pretty close to the truck, I would say. Uh, if you guys think I should paint all the other plastics in the truck this color, we've got that, this up here, that one, uh, I'll probably do like this. We could do the whole center console if y'all wanted to, just completely purple the inside of the truck. Please drop a comment down below and let me know if I should do that because I think it would look sweet, but it would be an absolute a lot of work. If you guys don't want to see that, I'm not going to put myself through that work. But I believe that is all. Now, like I said, drop a comment down below and let me know how much you think I have invested in the American Forces in the 37s and besides that i would say i have i paid 11 for the truck the truck has 170,000 miles as of right now i bought it with 104,000. i've put 66,000 miles on the truck in four years and i have i paid 11 for it i would say i probably have another six grand in the truck so i guess that's not terrible to have a truck that looks like this but i did everything myself i never paid anyone to do anything that just reminded me, I have 456 Yukon gears in the truck. As the one thing I ever paid anybody to do to this truck was install those gears because I did not want to mess up my daily driver and I've never messed with gears in my life. So I did pay someone to do that, but I will be doing the ones on that myself when that time comes, that, that's a while from now. But I do everything myself. I wrapped the truck, painted the bumpers, wrapped my wheels, wheel lights, rock lights, lift kit, Everything that's done to this truck, I did in my driveway, and every single one of you guys can do that yourself. And that's the whole point of this channel, is to show you guys how to do everything between building headlights, painting bumper plastics, installing a lift kit, installing rock lights, whatever it may be. If you're gonna solid axle swap your truck in your driveway, I'm gonna show you how to do that, because as I do a lot of crazy stuff that not a lot of other people do, we got some stuff coming in a couple weeks for that that I have not seen another video of. So, if you guys like doing things yourself, if you guys like learning or doing something out of the ordinary, subscribe to this channel because that's something I, I strive to do. It's just stuff that no one else does. Now, this video is probably gonna be like 15, 16 minutes long. I don't wanna ramble anymore, but I would say $6,000 in aftermarket stuff I've put on this truck. And I don't think that's terrible to have a truck that looks like that, six grand. Now, like I said, I don't want to ramble on anymore. If you guys like this video, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.